Hi friends, welcome to New Mechanical Mind. First, I am thanking you all for supporting our channel. If you are new to our channel, kindly subscribe immediately. In this video, we are going to see about PPM. If you are going to attend an interview in a manufacturing or production industry, there is a lot of chance to face questions from PPM. The interviewer may ask what is PPM, why it is used, what is the abbreviation, these are all the questions may come from the interviewer during attending the interview. In this video, we are going to see about this PPM. PPM. In this video, the contents we are going to see are PPM expansion and definition, what is defect, what is defective, history of PPM, percentage method, impact of defect, PPM method, purpose of PPM method, types of PPM and examples for ppm trend we are going to see about all these contents in detail in this video you will definitely learn about many new things in this video so kindly watch this video till end without skipping let us go into training first ppm expansion and definition so far i didn't tell what is ppm the expansion for ppm is parts per million this is the expansion for ppm where it is used in production and manufacturing industries, they are using to express number of rejection parts per 1 million parts. In chemical lab, they are using to express the mass of chemical or contaminate in milligram per kilogram or liter. But we are going to see about industrial PPM only. Definition for PPM in industries. It is defined as the number of rejection that means not okay or not good parts observed in 1 million that is 10 lakhs parts received or produced or supplied this is the definition for ppm we will see this ppm in detail in upcoming slides now we are going to see about what is defect it means non conformity observed in part or the parameter in the part is not as per spec if any parameter not meeting the drawing specification it is called as defect. What is defective? Most of the people will think that defect and defective are same. But there is a difference. The part which has the defect or defects is called defective. This is the difference between defect and defective. For example, if one part has length oversize, damage and rust issue, the number of defects are 3. Length oversize damage and rust these are the three defects but the number of defective part is one now you understood that what is defect and what is defective ppm should be calculated for number of defectives only not for defects if ppm calculated for number of defects that is not a correct method and ppm value will be more next history of ppm in the past, the rejections are calculated by percentage method. If you are supplying less than 1%, that is 10,000 ppm rejection to the customer, you are considered as good supplier because in that time, percentage method only used. Then the quality level is increased by customers to 0.1%, that is 1000 ppm to manage competition. Earlier, percentage method was used and the target was 1%. After that, customer changed their target to 0.1%. Here, the PPM values are given for your reference only or comparison. Even though it is reduced to 0.1%, the OEMs did not satisfy about the rate of rejection. So, introduced PPM method during developing Six Sigma concept for improving quality that is less than 100 PPM. As there is no satisfaction to the OEMs, in this percentage method so they have developed ppm method during developing the six sigma concept this is the history of ppm here the term oem means overall equipment manufacturer for example any two wheeler or four wheeler manufacturing company or any refrigerator washing machine the final entire machine or vehicle who is manufacturing they are called as oems and the suppliers who directly supplying to these OEMs are called as higher one. 
in our channel a separate video will be made for oem tier 1 tier 2 suppliers next percentage method most of you well aware about this percentage method assume that one part rejected in 1000 parts produced rejection percentage will be number of parts rejected by number of parts produced into 100 so by applying the values in the formula we will get this 0.1 percentage so this is the percentage of rejection for one part in 1000 parts produced it seems that the rejection rate is negligible and will have no impact impact of defect assume that one flight is flying for 1000 times in the air is it acceptable to meet accident one time that means failure percentage is equal to 0.1 percent is it okay no because the casualty and the impact will be severe ppm method assume the same rejection quantity which was seen in percentage method one part rejected in 1000 parts produced then the ppm will be number of parts rejected by number of parts produced into 10 lakhs the difference between percentage method and ppm method is this value only in percentage method we will use 100 in ppm method we will use 10 lakhs this is the difference between ppm and percentage method by applying the values in the ppm formula we will get 1000 ppm the rejection rate seems high by magnifying the rejection value this is the main purpose of ppm method it will magnify the rejection value now we are going to see about purpose of ppm method to magnify the rejection rate to get alert on quality this is the main purpose to give quality focus always to operators to focus on high rejection area to prevent loss to find out which process or machine is creating trouble to improve supplier or incoming quality to improve in house or in process quality to improve customer satisfaction by achieving zero ppm in supply ppm or customer ppm now oem expectation is less than 20 ppm these are the purposes of ppm method why we are using in our industries types of ppm three main types are receiving or incoming ppm in house or in process ppm apply or customer ppm these are the three main types there are subtypes also available for receiving or incoming ppm subtype will be supplier wise ppm if we are calculating ppm for entire suppliers it will be called as receiving or incoming ppm if we are calculating ppm supplier wise that is individual supplier wise then it will be called supplier wise ppm for in house or in process ppm the subtypes are line wise ppm machine wise ppm in industry if they are calculating ppm for entire rejection quantity for the company or industry will be called as in house or in process ppm if they are calculating ppm for assembly line wise it will be called as line wise ppm in each assembly line if they are calculating ppm for machine wise it will be called as machine wise ppm for supplier or customer ppm the subtypes will be customer wise ppm for supplier wise ppm we will calculate ppm for individual supplier wise like that for customer wise ppm we will calculate the ppm for our individual customers these three main types are called as key performance index that means kpi for quality department controlling these three ppms receiving in house and customer ppm are the main kpi for any quality department in manufacturing and production industries next we are going to see about these ppms in detail receiving or incoming ppm definition it is defined as the number of rejection not okay or not good parts observed in million that is 10 lakhs parts received from supplier formula is receiving or incoming ppm is equal to number of ng parts received from suppliers divided by total number of parts received from suppliers into 10 lakhs this is the definition and formula for receiving or incoming ppm next in house or in process ppm definition 
it is defined as the number of parts rejected during production of 1 million that is 10 lakh parts formula for this in house or in process ppm is number of ng parts produced or observed divided by total number of parts produced into 10 lakhs this is the ppm formula for in house or in process ppm next supply or customer ppm definition it is defined as the number of parts rejected by customers in million that is 10 lakhs parts supplied to them formula for supply or customer ppm is number of parts rejected by customer divided by total number of parts supplied to customer into 10 lakhs this is the ppm formula for customer ppm now let us see examples for ppm trend receiving or incoming ppm in this table target ppm is given as 500 for entire year rejection quantity and received quantity also mentioned actual ppm is calculated by using the formula for this target ppm and actual ppm the ppm trend will be prepared this is the ppm trend target is plotted in line graph and actual is plotted in bar graph if the actual ppm will be exceeded the target value it will be indicated in red color here the actual ppm exceeded target ppm for three months so they are indicated in red color in remaining months the actual ppm is less than target value so they are indicated in green color this is a typical ppm trend here the target is same for entire year or every month in some of the companies they will provide step down target to improve the quality so this is one example for step down target in receiving or incoming ppm in house or in process ppm here the target ppm is same for entire year or every month actual ppm is calculated by using the rejection quantity and production quantity the in house ppm trend also prepared like this if there is a step down target for in house ppm in house ppm trend will be like this for supplier or customer ppm the ppm will be calculated for customer target ppm and actual ppm received from customer then the ppm trend will be like this for customer ppm trend sometimes customer may give step down target if they are giving step down target then the ppm trend will be like this now i hope that you have understood about what is ppm types of ppm major types of ppm and subtypes of ppm what is ppm formula how ppm should be calculated and the purpose of ppm how ppm trend is prepared what is constant target and what is step down target and the corresponding ppm trends okay friends this ppm video is ending up to this i think this video was helpful to you if you have liked this video kindly press the like button and share this video to your other friends also your likes will motivate me to prepare and upload further videos in future at the earliest if you have not subscribed so far kindly subscribe immediately and press the bell icon also to get immediate notification when uploading new videos in our channel if you have any doubts or comments kindly mention them in the comment box we will meet again in next video thank you